In this video, we're going to be talking about how to get started with Glide. You'll learn how to get started with a new account, how you can create your app in less than five minutes, the basic features of Glide. Before you sign up, make sure that you already have a Gmail account. This is because you're going to be using the power of Google Sheets. It's going to be accessing Google Drive and all these things. All you need is a free Gmail account. So you can go and sign up for that. Afterwards, you go to glideapps.com again. You can go to sign up. From there, it's going to ask you, would you like to sign in with Google or have you sign in with an email? Uh, just sign in with Google and that's going to make it a lot easier and it's going to take you to the main dashboard. From here, you're going to be able to see the different apps that you have. And if you're just getting started for the first time, this will be blank for you. You won't have any apps available. But if you scroll down, you can try out pro apps or you can just start with the classic template apps. These are free right here. So you can try out a directory app, conference app, whatever you want to get started. On the left-hand side, you're going to have your apps right here, your referrals. So if you're gonna be referring people to, uh, to Glide apps and you wanna do this, you can unlock a lot of goodies if you just do that. I don't ever use the word goodies. If you click the referral tab, it will allow you to start sharing a referral link and then you can get additional things to your account if you refer people to Glide successfully. Also, you can add new teams so you can share projects or that way you can make sure you keep track of what apps you're going to be uh, using with your team. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Now, there's two different ways to get started with Glide. You can first just create a new app and go from there. Or what I would do is check out one of the templates and then from the templates, create your first experience so you have some kind of format and start going from there. You can, again, find templates by scrolling down your account or you can go glideapps.com slash templates and then you're going to be able to find one that matches with whatever kind of app you're trying to create. Now, again, a lot of them, a lot of these templates are free. Some are paid, but it will be marked if you have to pay for them. But a, a great majority of these apps to get started are free. Let's go back into the account and I'm going to go to start with classic app. I'm going to click the directory. From there, it's going to take a couple of seconds. Now that we have the directory in my account, it is already uh, made. It says your app is published. It will have all of the information if I want to share this link or a QR code if people want to scan it to now look at my app. Now, this is my directory that it just pulled in and just made for me. And if I'm looking at just getting started in Glide, this is the display section. So this is what it's going to be looking like on mobile devices. To the right-hand side, it then allows me to see the settings overall of the app. And then to the left side, it allows me to see the data. It allows me to see how the app is structured. And the data is going to house the, the information. So it allows me to have different data saved in my app. If I go back to the display section, if I click the down button, it allows me to see it in a couple different formats. And depending on what plan I get, if it's free or if I upgrade, it's going to give me different options if I can have my app optimized for mobile or for uh, desktop or you know web and all of those things as well. But this, starting out with a free account, it's going to let me do everything with mobile, which is a great start. If I look on the left-hand side, this allows me to see my tabs, and my tabs allow me to navigate different parts of the app. If I look in the middle, again, that's more of the display of what it looks like visually, and I can interact with it. I can click different things, and now things change on the left-hand side based on what I'm doing. What I like about this is, depending on what I'm doing, now I can see what it corresponds with. For example, if I'm going to go over the title section, favorites, it's now highlighting what's happening on the display. I can also add different components to my app by just clicking the plus sign 
And then it gives me an options of different components. Because there's so many different components, what I would do is first write down what I'm trying to accomplish for so then I don't get overwhelmed and start randomly just picking different components or options, but I now move with purpose. I can just simply click on a component and now it's going to add it to the page. And if you look at it, it's going to be at the bottom, but I can just drag and drop it. And now it's a different part of the page. You see how it's right here at the top and now it's highlighted on the right hand side of the screen. After I selected whatever component I want or anything like that, then I'm going to get more details on the component that I just built. For example, I have options. I can say, what do I want it to uh, connect to the data, the design of it, what I want it to look like, make it all caps. I can do the alignment, where do I want it on the page, styles, all those things. I can also have options and now I can add the visibility and I can add conditions based on who can see it in the app at the time. So there's a lot of flexibility of what I can be doing using different components. And based on what type of page I'm creating and things that I'm doing, I have different options. For example, on this page right here, I'm gonna be able to see styles. I can change it to a list. I can change this to tiles, cards, the, the list goes on and on. And I can also edit the list by changing uh, the different images, the tile shape, right? So that square I can change it to circle, whatever I would like. This allows me to really have the make and feel that I want of my app in a relatively easy way. I have general options here, having adding things, filters, I can sort by, I can also add a form if I want as well. This is the basics of the display of a Glide app. If I'm looking again to the settings on the right hand side, now I can change the appearance of the app, change the overall styles, the theme. I might want it a little bit more minimalist like that. I can decide, oh look, I can even match the device's theme if it's light or dark mode. App info, I can change the name, the icons, things like that. I can look at how to share it, the privacy, how are people accessing the app, sell your template, your app as a template. You can submit it, let people discover and copy your app. You can look at integrations such as uh, Zapier, Google Analytics, and others. And it depends on what plan I'm on as well for some of my advanced features. So I have all those options in the settings and I can move around very easily with it. If I go on to the data section, this allows me to have options to look at how my data is structured. So right here, I'm looking at my staff, which is public, my locations, and then user profiles. This allows me to see what the app is saving and how it's structured. Also too, depending on how I want the database created, I can have different options if how different columns will relate. So I can create different like relations, one to many or one to one relations. I can do that in just a, a, a few clicks. And I can decide if I want the tables from Google Sheets, or I can add another table, which will be a glide table as well. In the glide table, I can have other things such as if I create a new column, I can change it to a um, an image I can go to basic columns. And when I do that, now I can actually bring in other types of information. Also, when I have a new column, I can change it to image. I can say this, okay? So now that I made the column an image, I can double click and now I have access to Unsplash. So if I wanna automatically just import pictures from Unsplash, I can look for certain pictures. Now I can be able to do that. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of features or kind of things you're looking for in Glide or what type of templates you're thinking about using or want to get started with using Glide. If you want more videos about Glide or very specifics, let me know in the comment section down below.